Hi, my name is Scott Lindsay. I'm the Development Manager at Excel Automation. Today I'm going to give you a demonstration of one of our free templates, the to-do list. This uh, template is used by many of our customers to manage and track activities in their business and personal lives. It is offered through our website, completely free of charge. So let's have a look at some of the features and functions of the to-do list. Okay, after you download the uh, Excel Automation to-do list uh, template and open it, this is what you'll see. Uh, it has uh, it gives you the ability to track pretty much any activity you uh, would want to monitor. Um, you just enter the description and activity here in the description sheet, description uh, column, and then we have them categorized by business and personal to-do items. So you just change it by selecting the drop down here and you'll just change one from a business to a personal depending on what it is. Also got a series of status items that help us track whether an activity started or it's in progress, if it's on hold, completed or cancelled. We also can assign a priority to a to-do list item. So if it's really, really important, obviously we nominate it as critical. It can be high, medium, low. And then when you finish it, you mark it here, finished. And this will help us sort the to-do list uh, later on and I'll show you that feature in a minute. Uh, we also then specify the date on which you want to finish this to-do item and then when you finally finish you'll put a completion date. Here in the notes column you can keep on updating uh, things to do with the to-do item as you try to get it completed. These last two columns are calculated columns and are used for the pivot table I'll show you in a minute to give us a bit of a pictorial view of what how many items we have open. So don't touch these, these are just calculated, it's giving us the month and the year. Okay, so here we can see the two items that are uh, underway. Um, one's not started, the first one here. This one, uh, shown in red and yellow, is actually uh, overdue because it was supposed to be finished on the 15th of January, you can see here, and it hasn't been finished. So um, the to-do list will automatically colour uh, each of your to-do items if it's past the due date. So that's a good feature to help you sort of focus in on the things that are uh, falling behind. Um, also, it will also uh, sort to the bottom of the list anything that you mark as finished. So for instance, let's say uh, we've decided that we have actually finished our, um, our review of company financials. We just mark this as finished. We put a finish date here. Let's say well, we actually did finish this on the um, 1st of the 2nd, February. Now if we click the sort to do list bottom at the top, It'll sort that particular item to the bottom of the list, and now you'll have only the ones that you're interested in at the top. Then we enter a new item. Let's say we want to track um, buying a computer for the kids. So I'm going to type in a new to do item buy a computer for uh, kids' school year. And this might be really, this is obviously not a business one, it's a personal item, and we haven't started it yet. And this one's we're going to make this one a critical one because it's got to be done by a certain time. Then we say this one's got to be done by the 15th of February. So now you can see it's at the bottom of the list. If we click sort to do list again, that'll put that right to the top or all along with that other one there as well. So that's that's pretty much all the features and functions you can see here. It will update, as I said, the, mark the ones that are overdue in yellows and reds. Now, if you wanted to add different statuses or different categories, uh, if you go to the reference sheet in this template, you can do that. Just basically enter some more fields in here, and then they'll show on those drop-down lists. Um, okay, and the last thing I'll show you now is just a, a pretty simple pivot chart that's been developed on, on top of this uh, to-do list to give you a bit of a, a view of how many things are happening and how quickly they're happening. So like all pivot tables, it just comes up as a chart. If we go and click refresh the data, it'll then pop, re, it'll go repopulate that. And now we can see in this case, it, there's not many to-do items here. Usually this chart will show you quite a few, but we've got one completed for the business. We've got one not started. And we've got two that are in progress. Sorry, and we've got one that's in progress. And here again, we have uh, similar counts for the personal items as well. So um, that that completes the demonstration for the to-do list template from Excel Automation. 
If you'd like a copy of it yourself, please visit our website, www.xlautomation.com.au, and you'll be uh, able to download this for free. If, if you're interested in actually extending the functionality of this in the to-do list that's shown here, please contact us at our uh, website as well, and we'll be able to talk to you about how we can do that for you.